Scuba diving is a wonderful activity. However, it does have a degree of risk. As a certified scuba diver, you have the opportunity to explore wrecks or dive at night, take photos, or simply enjoy the beautiful and exciting marine life, all the way from coral to sharks. With all the joys of diving, there comes responsibility for yourself and your own well-being. Any time a person enters the water to swim, to snorkel, or to scuba dive, there is a risk of an accident that may include injury or even death. Risk is present in all recreational activities. The risk can be reduced, but it cannot be totally eliminated. You assume the risks and hazards that you will encounter, and your well-being rests on how you respond to those risks. You need to be aware of the risks and responsibilities you are assuming as a certified diver. This presentation provides a review of some of the key concepts, skills, and risks of scuba diving. Your first responsibility is to yourself and your own well-being. Take this into consideration when following the directions of the dive leader and the rules established by the dive operator or leader. Maintaining control over yourself, both mind and body, is a key to being a comfortable and responsible diver. Control includes setting limits so you stay within your comfort zone and providing yourself with a margin of safety. It also includes selecting a buddy who is compatible with your dive objective, experience, and skill level. It is up to you to say something if you feel uncomfortable with your dive buddy. Do not expect direct supervision from the leader or instructor. Dive leaders cannot devote all of their attention to any one diver. It is your responsibility to stay with the dive leader if this is part of the dive plan. A relaxed, calm, gentle, easy manner underwater will make you a more efficient diver and therefore will improve the quality of your diving experience. You can increase your comfort level underwater by maintaining awareness of yourself, your buddy, your equipment, and the environment. This includes maintaining contact with your buddy. As a diver, you need to be both physically and mentally fit. Good health is an important aspect of scuba diving. Diving leaders only know how you look, not how you feel. You need to communicate with the dive leader if you have any concerns or problems, or if you have been ill or are on medication. As you are aware, diving when ill, overly stressed, or under the influence of alcohol or drugs greatly increases the risk of being injured while diving. Remember, when diving with a leader or buddy, it is your responsibility to decide if the planned dive fits within your comfort zone and your personal limits. You should not be pushed into diving by others. You need to be aware of stress when scuba diving in order to avoid it and to deal with it. When you are motivated to dive and are not under stress, you can relax, become comfortable and truly enjoy your dive with far less risk. Scuba diving is an equipment intensive activity. It is important to properly adjust and handle the equipment. A proper fitting and complete total diving system is essential to comfortable and enjoyable diving. Most equipment problems are caused by misuse, improper care, or lack of familiarization, not by malfunctions. It is your responsibility to make sure you have all the equipment you need and that it fits, is adjusted, and functions properly before diving. A proper descent requires good buoyancy control, so you can carefully equalize your air spaces to avoid squeezes. Regular pauses to check your instruments, yourself, your buddy, your equipment, and the environment will increase your comfort as you dive. If you ever feel stressed, do not go any deeper. Relax and deal with the stress before proceeding with the dive. Your buoyancy and weighting should be adjusted so you are neutral. This will allow you to move with minimum effort and not cause damage to the environment. It is dangerous to excessively overweight yourself. You should strive to be properly weighted on each dive. Breathe in a slow, deep, relaxed manner while on scuba. Rapid breathing at great depth or with low cylinder pressure puts you at undue risk. 
avoid this situation with the same care you use to avoid running out of air. It is your responsibility to monitor your breathing and air supply to prevent a low air or out of air situation. Swim with a steady kick so as not to tire yourself. Your maximum planned depth should be based on the knowledge, experience, skills and equipment of both you and your buddy. Your maximum time should be based on air supply, comfort and decompression requirements so you can return to the surface with a 500 PSI reserve. Good underwater orientation increases diving safety and comfort. You can use a compass or natural landmarks to navigate your way underwater. Before ascending, pause to check that all is well and that you are neutrally buoyant. Now you can ascend slowly by carefully controlling your buoyancy. It is best to make small adjustments to your BC as needed to help maintain this control. Regular relaxed breathing is crucial on your ascent to avoid lung overpressure injuries which can be extremely serious or even fatal. It is strongly recommended you make a safety stop when returning from any dives in excess of 60 feet. Of course this can also be done on shallower dives. Combining a safety stop with slower ascent rates and reduced no decompression limits will help reduce the likelihood of decompression sickness, but no procedure, table or computer can totally eliminate the risk of decompression sickness. As a certified diver, it is your responsibility to make a safe dive plan and stick to it. No one else but you can monitor your time and depth underwater. The final step of the ascent is to listen and look for boats. Remember, it is more difficult for boats to see you than for you to see boats. On ascent, look up, reach up and come up slowly. Stay in the area of the dive flag and avoid shallow swimming near the surface. Exhaustion and drowning can be concerns at the end of a dive. Once you reach the surface, you should inflate your BC and keep your mask and second stage regulator in place so you can see, breathe and float. Make sure you are comfortable and relaxed before you start a surface swim. Extra care should be used when entering or exiting the water to reduce the potential of hurting yourself or others. If you are diving from a boat, use caution when boarding the vessel. Stay clear of the ladder, platform or propeller until it is your turn to exit especially when it is rough on the surface. Some aquatic life can be harmful, so care needs to be taken to avoid contact and not to provoke animals. Entanglement is another problem that can be handled as long as you do not panic. Diving accidents are more likely to occur during advanced diving activities, such as when diving in overhead environments, in strong current, in deeper water, in poor visibility, or at night. Penetration into caves, caverns, wrecks, or under ice also greatly increase the risk of diving. You need to accept the additional risks and responsibilities that accompany these advanced diving activities, especially if you lack the proper training and equipment that these activities require. There is risk to scuba diving, but it can be reduced with proper training, equipment, and by following the rules of responsible diving. Scuba diving is a very enjoyable activity, and we want to help you and support you in this activity. However, ultimately the responsibility for your safety and equipment rests with you. No one else can guarantee your safety. As a responsible diver, I understand and assume all risks I may encounter while diving. My responsibilities include Diving within the limits of my ability and training. Evaluating the conditions before every dive and making sure they fit my personal capabilities. Being familiar with and checking my equipment before and during every dive. Knowing my buddy's ability level as well as my own. Accepting the responsibility for my own safety on every dive. With this review, you have been reminded of some of the risks and responsibilities of scuba diving. You may now be asked to complete some paperwork before you proceed with your diving activities. Please read it carefully and make certain that you do not sign anything that you do not understand.